Hi, everyone. Welcome to this 15-minute Friday Flash. I'm Lynn Hunsaker of Clear Interaction Continuum. Today, we're talking about four keys to smoothing silos. A business silo is anything that should be connected, but isn't connected. Silos are what we complain about to coworkers and others. Anything where the right hand doesn't know what the left hand's doing. Anything where the cart's before the horse. Silos are what customers complain about on social media, to coworkers, friends, family, and acquaintances, and to contact centers. Anything that doesn't make sense to them. Silos are expensive. They cost us a lot in time and effort and waste. Silos cost us a lot to stem churn in resources dedicated perpetually to personnel, technologies, and programs in customer success, customer experience, customer service, CRM, loyalty, and the like. All of these currently necessary efforts could be relieved to a great extent if we could smooth silos. And if we they were relieved of the preventable issues, they could focus a lot more on value creation. Silos are probably the biggest root cause of churn among customers, churn among employees, and churn among agencies, channel partners, and other groups that we depend upon. Here's a list of 10 silos that impact customer experience and employee experience. Data silos happen when you have mismatching data or data in incompatible systems. System silos happen when you have standalone or incompatible technologies. Process silos are apparent when execution is complicated. Channel silos are visible when the user's experience differs by platform or service or source. For example, marketing channels, media channels, information channels, sales channels, delivery channels, and support channels, all needing to be coordinated within and among them. Organizational silos are all too common with lack of sharing, transparency, coordination, and collaboration. Assumption silos happen when there are different views and ownership levels across people and groups. Vision silos are apparent when someone is out of sync with the hand that feeds you. Goal silos are seen when outcomes are not congruent with intentions. Metric silos exist when reality is overstated, momentum is masked. Handoff silos are seen when the quality of or timing of work output doesn't match the recipient's needs. In this list, the first five are operational silos. They're the structure we set up to manage our business. The other five are execution silos. These are culture and personality inclinations. Most people think you can solve the operational silos with technologies, and that's true to an extent. But all of the operational silos are hindered or helped by the execution silos. This is true both in the setup of technology solutions for operational silos and in your ongoing use and daily decision-making around the operational silo areas. For these reasons, it's vital to thoroughly explore the execution silos in your world. It's essential to proactively smooth these execution silos in your world. Over the next several weeks, I'll talk about each of these silos and how you can smooth them. Next week, I'll show you how Interaction Bridges helps you smooth assumption, vision, and handoff silos. This is a technique that's quick to learn. You can use it to navigate personality gaps in your interactions. It's a way to quickly leverage what you have in common with anyone to gain cooperation mutually. These topics and many related gems are available now in small bites. 5 minutes, 15 minutes, and 40 minute formats. Interactive templates, exercises, and discussions help you pick up new habits. The Clear Action Value Exchange is like a 24 7 mentor that you can tap into on the go. See you here for next week's Friday Flash on Interaction Bridges.